Well, what is this? In this video, we are going to be smelting some brass with this brass. Now, a few of you have asked on Instagram how I do it. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it with this $9 crucible. This is a Gong Yi crucible that I got off eBay for, like I said, $9. First, you're going to take your brass and stack it in here in an organized fashion. One shell at a time. And then after a while I got so tired of it, I just started pouring it in there. And this works well too. I'm going to slide in the forge with this piece of steel underneath. This just makes it easier to maneuver while it's in the forge when you pull it out to add more brass. What you'll need is a respirator for the fumes, hearing protection for the loud noise the forge makes, and safety glasses, and most importantly, something to drink, like a sweet tea. He's gone. So we're gonna heat this up to about 2,000 degrees. I measured it with a heat gun. Around 1980, it starts to get to a liquid form. After it starts reaching a liquid form, I take this hand forged tool that I make to mix it up and to remove all the slag. This isn't the best way to use your crucible. The crucibles aren't made for this. They're really molds. You're supposed to use an actual crucible cup and pour it in here. But this is the cheapest and quickest way to make a quick bar of brass. It only lasts for a few runs and then it starts chipping away and cracking. And then eventually just falls apart. But if you want to just make a few bars of brass for nine bucks, it's a good way of doing it. I'm also going to apply some borax flux. This really works about the last few heats that you do when you add your last little bit of brass. You apply this at the very end. This puts a nice coating over top of your brass bar when it's in a liquid form and keeps it from oxidizing. This mitigates um, holes and pits in your bar. You're going to let it sit and cool down to room temperature. We're going to grind it using a 36 grit belt and go all the way up to 320 grit, which you see here. I clean up the whole bar to 320 grit, and then the face of the bar will hand sand all the way up to a nice mirror polish. We start with 800 grit, and then go all the way up to 1200 grit, then use steel wool, and then buff it. Out of all the film that I took of hand sanding this, I actually filmed the whole thing. You're going to see pretty much the whole thing hand sanding. Hand sanding it only took probably five minutes maximum. It's super fast and easy because brass is a super soft metal, which is awesome. After hand sanding, we'll buff it in the drill press to get a nice shiny polish. I think hand polished brass is one of the coolest looking materials ever. It's so shiny, you can see yourself in it. It's really neat. Anyway, what do you guys think? Was this a cool project? You all have a wonderful day.